the next Ernesto Hoost. But to fulfill these lofty expectations, Holland's Remy Bonjaski has to prove he belongs with K1's elite in Japan. Following in the footsteps of countryman Hoost and Peter Arts, Bonjaski still has a long way to go in his escalating career. But tonight could be the stepping stone he needs to live up to his promise. I don't say anything. I just talk with my fist. Vernon Tiger White may be one of the most underrated athletes in martial arts combat sports. White has never shied away from throwing himself at any opponent, and tonight is no exception, as he's his K-1 debut. Whether he's a second coming of Ernesto Hoos or not, it doesn't matter to me because uh, Ernesto Hoos has been beat. So um, anybody on any given day can be beat, and uh, I'm going to be the person to beat him. Now making his entrance to the blue corner, Vernon the Tiger White. Here comes Vernon White, maybe the wild card, the unknown card from San Diego, California, Taekwondo student. He's had a lot of trials and tribulations in and out of the ring. Definitely working it. Well, one thing I think that Vernon White's going to have to use is use his unorthodox style to throw Remy Bunjaski off. He needs to attack first and he needs to shut down the Dutchman's combination. And he's got to eliminate Remy's wicked jump knees, low kicks, and his high kicks. Work in the house. Give it up. Now making his entrance to the red corner, Remy Bonjaski. Remy Bonjaski is a fighter I like more and more every time I see him, Mike Sawyer. He's been labeled as the really the king of the future of this sport. A Dutch fighter with great heritage and a great, great attack. Well, he even looks like a young Ernesto Hoost. Uh, he's bulked up a little sooner than Hoost did. Hoost started as a middleweight and worked to play up. But Bonjaski's got all the tools. And he's young. He's uh, He's got his head on in the right place. He's an intelligent young man, knows exactly what he wants. He's studied under the best. Right now he's with Andre Menard at the Maduro gym. But it's, it's nothing but up for this young man. The one thing he did tell us earlier this afternoon was, you are going to see the knees flying. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to our third quarterfinal K-1 tournament bout. Three three-minute rounds. When the bell rings, your referee in charge will be Daisuke Noguchi. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red, trimmed with gold, and weighing officially 210 pounds. Twelve victories to his credit, including one KO against seven losses. From San Diego, California, he is burning the Tiger! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trimmed with white, officially weighing 228 pounds. He has 38 victories, including 24 by knockout against nine losses. He comes to us from Holland, ladies and gentlemen, Remy Bonjaski. Coming center, coming center. Remy, Remy. Remy, coming center. This is K1 run. Three minutes, three rounds. Two knockdown system. Don't hit the Don't roll boy. Don't hit the button. Neck press again. Don't knee attack. Upper and neck. Okay. Free fight. Free fight. Shiga. Corner. 
familiar face of referee Daisuke Noguchi. And here we go, Vernon White and Remy Bonjaski. Bonjaski, the younger of the two, the taller of the two, the heavier of the two, and certainly the knockout power of the two. You got to tilt that scale right there to Remy Bonjaski. Go! And here we go, quarterfinal number three. Bonjaski in the blue trunks on the left of your screen. Vernon White from San Diego in the red trunks. Vernon White certainly has the mixed martial arts experience and grappling, but in the ring with Frank Shamrock. Can he, can he make it in stand-up fighting? I think he's attacking Bonjaski just the way he should, though. Try to tie him up, and here come the knees and the punches from Bonjaski. This will not be a feeling out round. White's definitely doing the right thing, though. He's on his unorthodox style. Oh, uh, Joski off. That would, hurt. would call that a knockdown. I think you're right. No, they're not going to. That is, that is it. Two, six, I don't think he's going to make it. I think it was the first kick that hurt him. It. What a performance by Bon Jasky right here at the beginning of the first round. He takes out Vernon White with a roundhouse kick to the body. White looks like he is hurt. Getting hit with that chin bone and it's like having someone swing a baseball bat at you full speed. White and White could have a broken rib. Here it is again. You see the timing. Now, he, he just clipped his head with that one, but the one before that is the one that really did the damage. Here you see that Vernon White getting up in pain from that previous punishment he took, and then Noguchi said, fight! Oh, my! Oh, just clipped him up on the right temple just enough to put him down and make him decide that this is it for his evening. Woo, Remy's a bad man. <laughs> White could not get up. And right away, Bonjaski puts himself in the favorite seat of this night based on his 30 seconds of work. You can see the damage to the nose and the eyebrow. Vernon White, despite wanting to, could not have gotten up off the canvas. Look at the roundhouse kick clipping right in the face. That Bonjaski's one bad mamma jamma. All 228 pounds of Remy Bonjaski coming behind that roundhouse kick and taking out Vernon White. That could have been a lot more dangerous had it not been, and I'm going to call it a glancing blow, and I use that term lightly, but if that had hit direct and full, we would have a different story with Vernon White right now. I think it would have been like a fall ball, and I'd be catching his head in, in the broadcast booth. All right, let's get the official announcement from ring announcer Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes... At 1 minute 55 seconds of the very first round, the winner by knockout victory and now advancing, Remy Bonjasti. So Remy Bonjasti, the night of work so far, overcomes Vernon White in every single way you could imagine. We are ready now for our fourth and last quarterfinal in just a moment. But let's take a look at exactly how Bonjaski moved through into the semifinals. Well, this is after this is after the knockdown. Vernon White being counted out. The first roundhouse kick that hit him in the body began the damage. Bonjaski certainly.